Hi, Tech Rabbit here. Thought we'd have a basic overview of a single generator. And um, first thing we'll do is just have a look and see what's um, in the package. There's many different um, speeds of these, and this is the lowest one, 50 megahertz. Uh, and um, <laughs> it doesn't contain that much. The box is very light. So the size of the box is actually, yeah, it's a, they they could have fit fit all the electronics in the in the size of the dis, you know, in the thickness of the display, <laughs> but that really doesn't downgrade it uh, that much. But anyway, it um, comes with a bit of software, so you can operate it from the PC. Comes with a USB cable, and um, actually, and yeah, comes with a power supply. Voltage, and, uh, and then it comes with um, uh, two BNC cables, so you can actually connect both channels out. And then you get the BNC to BNC, which is quite useful because then you can actually do direct connections to you know oscilloscopes and other types of equipment. So anyway, let's get this powered up and have a look at it. So I anyway, know I've set it up here with some. Uh, Oscilloscope, I can look at the output of it and then the actual unit here. And that's got quite a nice um, menu system. You have a system menu that contains globally sellable things like language and some default settings for options that you want to use. And then you have a uh, modulation um, menu where you handle the modulation on the channel. Uh, and then you have um, the wave functions and then you have the um, standard uh, uh, measurement features through the um, external input and that's just an ok button and um, if we look at the basic the basic when you're using it in sort of for basic functions then you're mainly interested in this wave functions here and then you have um, two buttons on channel one, channel two. Here I output channel one, channel two, and um, the, there is a cool um, little function here. You can actually decide which of the channels you're going to make the main channel. So you can actually switch from channel two to be the main channel and channel two, uh, channel one to be the slaves. Uh, so when you're working on it, you might want to actually change the order of where the channels are displayed. Um, and then if you want to put the channel on and off, then it's just a quick press. Uh, a quick press actually puts it on and off, and then if you, you press it for a longer time, then it does this priority switch. And um, the menus are actually quite um, easy to use. So if we start with the amplitude, since we actually don't have a signal, and then um, you can actually start setting the um, voltage. Oh, yes, of course, this is a frequency generator. So as you noticed, I haven't got any frequency. So then you won't see anything, you just see a DC effect. <laughs> so we actually have to do, have to also set a frequency. So let's do um, something like reasonable there. Take. There we go. Now we get the signal. And we can just expand the signal here a bit, so we can actually see see the you know, 50 hertz a little bit better. So anyway, now we have a have a signal. So you can set the frequency just by clicking on the frequency, and then you you can you can move um, backwards and forwards through the numbers with these cursor keys here, and then you use the knob to adjust the number. So it's it's actually quite intuitive, and you use the same type of logic for all the values. Um, and we can actually have a look at um, the offset. So as you see, then I can offset the signal up and down. And it's notable that this this model has um, 20 volts on um, peak to peak, so it's not that much volt. Which is good, uh, but I think it's good enough for uh, general hobbyist use. Yeah, and then if we go back to um, 
the on wave functions which is here and you can see that you can select between different types of waveforms and that you do just by clicking on the selection in the side menu so that's sinus wave and then that's uh, square wave and here you have pulse which is where you can actually adjust the width of the the, the pulse and then you have um, square wave so you have a good selection of, of basic waveforms and then if you would actually like to um, we could actually um, have a look at that simple measurement function because that was actually quite interesting so if we go back to this one here and then we take this output cable and we connect it in there and then we say measurement and you actually get a, a measurement of the um, frequency uh, and other values right directly here which is very uh, it's, it's useful for basic um, basic information about about external things so usually you wouldn't connect it directly like that you take it from an external source and um, that pretty much covers the basic features I mean, I think the good thing is that this is not that complicated, so it um, makes it relatively um, good good choice for for beginners and and those that need more advanced um, features. You can follow follow. I'm going to make a uh, an advanced video also, so we actually go so through some of the more advanced features of of this um, uh, signal generator. So anyway. Okay, well, if you like this video, can, um, consider subscribing, send a note to others that might be interested in having a basic um, signal generator. And um, you know, if you like this video also, you could consider buying me a coffee, because usually I spend nights making these videos. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one.